What it do fam, it's me Keisha and I'm back with another Spill the Tea video. So you know I gave you all the tea about a month ago how Jacquees was caught cheating on Deandra Sanders who is Deion Sanders' oldest daughter and oldest child. Um, He was caught cheating with his ex drizzy she blasted him with text messages and things saying that he still loved her he wanted to be with her he didn't want to be with deandra she also was the one that announced that deandra was pregnant by jacques how would she know that if she had not been talking to jacques okay her and deandra were going back and forth on twitter and at one point, DeAndre was like, she felt so stupid. She couldn't believe that she was in this situation. It was just a mess. Well, today she announced officially that she is indeed pregnant by Little Teapot, <laughs> Short and Stout, Munchkin, Jacquees. Uh, child, child, child. To announce the pregnancy, she released a video which we'll get to in a second and under the video she captioned it I never thought I'd be here but here we are I know a lot has transpired over the last month but what hasn't happened is me being able to tell my own truth myself mm. so here it is even though this was not planned nor expected, this is still something God allowed to happen. I'm not having my baby to keep a man. I am having my baby for all the times I was told I wouldn't be able to. I'm having my baby for the four myomectomy surgeries I have had. I am having my baby for all the years I stayed on birth control, even though it gave me breast tumors i'm having my baby for all the doctors that told me i wouldn't make it out the first trimester i'm having a baby for the seven current fibroids that surrounds my uterus to this day i'm having a baby for all the high-risk moms that was scared every day thinking they would miscarry i'm keeping my baby for the three months i continue to bleed every day after i found out i was pregnant I'm having this baby to give hope to all the other women that may be in my situation. No matter what doctors say, God has the final say. The miracle growing in me is not just a coincidence, but a divine blessing. Welcome to my pregnancy journey. Psalm 1273. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. Now, I know I probably read that one, two, seven, three wrong, but I don't know how to say that stuff in the Bible. Anyway, um, I'm so sorry to hear that she has gone through so many things um, with her womb over the years. And this baby is a blessing. Babies are always a blessing. I hope that she has a safe and I hope honestly that she has a healthy baby, a happy pregnancy and that she has like i said good health through this you know what i'm saying the support of her family and friends and that at the end of this she births a healthy baby boy baby girl whichever one it is um in the comment section her dad wrote preach baby preach and you having this baby to make me a darn granddaddy, even though I'm young with crying, laughing emojis. I love you, baby. And I'm glad you said you ain't having a baby to keep a man. You've always had a man in your life that you call daddy and ain't going to ever, ever let you down, especially when I'm up. Okay. All right, Dion. She ain't. Okay. We'll get to that part about the, I ain't having a baby to keep no man. Okay. Um, her brother, Deion Sanders Jr., who is Deion's second child and second, I mean, first oldest son, said God is great. Tracy Edmonds, her ex stepmom and almost kind of, but they ain't never get married. Uh, Deion's ex fiance said, congratulations, princess. I will be praying for you every step of the way. And um, Jacquees was also in the comment section and he wrote, I love you and I got you. Blessings on the way. Thank you, Jesus. 
He then posted on his page, unlike Jalen Green, if you have not checked out my video on Drea being pregnant by a 22-year-old NBA player, Jalen Green, check it out after you watch this one. But he actually uh, made an announcement about the pregnancy also on his Instagram. He posted this picture of him kissing her stomach on the beach. And as you can see, he captioned it, my definition of real love. Then he posted this video of them, I guess, on their little baby moon or whatever you want to call it. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> Last morning, we're going to make the most of it. We had a great time here. What was the highlight of our trip to you? Highlight of our trip was just being with you every day alone. Oh. No one else. Cheers to us. <laughs> Drink enough for me. <laughs> Our last day. Last day, man. Last Cute. Uh, here's another picture of them on their vacation. You can see her bump. Cute, cute, cute. It's pictures of him posing in his baby gap outfit. Look at the little feet. Look at the little would you, would you, would you? Here's another photograph of him looking like a 13 year old seventh grader. Ew, this didn't need to be posted, but okay, I guess. Here's another photograph of them. Cute, cute, cute. Gross. I know her face stinked. Um, don't know who that man is. And the last photo of her bump. She looks to be about a good mm, maybe five months. Yeah, she looks like a good five months pregnant. She seems to be really in love and trying to make this family thing work. Um, I don't think that it will, unfortunately. But, you know, anybody that's pregnant wants to make their family work. Um, considering everything that just went down, I would have encouraged her to cut ties now so it could get easier as time goes because the longer she stays in it the longer and harder it's going to be for her to break away from the situation but the man ain't treating you good child um his ex announced your pregnancy to the world you didn't even get the opportunity to do it for yourself you saw how he was disrespecting you in those text messages the fact that he was even still communicating with her on any type of level while knowing that you were pregnant carrying y'all first child is craziness to me. But like I said, she 30, he almost 30 or all uh, is 30. Y'all grown, y'all doing what y'all want to do. You have the support of your father behind you, which is great. But this is the part that was really cringe and weird for me that she announced the pregnancy. I read you all the caption. The caption was very explanatory of the reasons why she's keeping this baby. So I really did not understand why she made a mini movie, <laughs> a mini little short film showing how in the past she's gotten bad news about, you know, her reproductive system. Just, just watch it. It was really weird. Come in. Hi, baby. Okay, how are you today? Good. Good. Um, so after your procedure, um, it went well, but we weren't able to remove all the fibroids. So since this is your fourth myomectomy, I just want to let you know that it's going to be kind of hard in the future to conceive a child. Um, so what do you think my chances would be? I mean, honestly, they're pretty slim. And if you were to, it might be high risk. So I just wanted to give you that information. So with that being said, what would the chances be of me being able to like fully carry a child full term? So with that, a lot of people in this situation um, do experience miscarriages at early ages or even late stages, um, and they also have higher risk pregnancies. Okay. Okay. Well, 
thank you. what the point of that was like girl we believed you with your caption you didn't have to make a reenactment <laughs> for us to get it like that was a little bit weird and cringe and I don't know who in her camp or around her was like yeah let's do that like it was giving very much after school special PSA the part where she's watching a kid playing with the family at a quote unquote doctors off. it was really random and just not necessary my love um once again I wish her the best on this pregnancy hopefully she's happy throughout it not depressed or sad and that you know her body works on her behalf and that she births a healthy child you know but as far as this relationship I just don't see anything good coming from it you know, hopefully he's there as a father and he steps up and does what he's supposed to do. But child, having a baby by somebody named Jaquise who is literally four feet one is just never a good idea. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down below in the comment section. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.